tutorial for today is how to make a unicorn cake. First, let's take a white fondant and cut them in three parts. I usually make this a day before or at least 10 hours before so that it will be properly dried. Roll each fondant using your hand to create a long strand. Create two more strands and make sure they are about the same size. You can also roll them together. Put edible glue in between the strands to make sure they are sticking together. Slowly twist the strands together and roll it with your hands so that they are properly combined. Put edible glue on the stick as well so that when you stick it in the fondant, it will not be moving. Cut the horn to your desired length. Place the stick slowly so that it will not come out on the sides. Make sure that there are no holes and they are combined together properly. Then set it aside. For the ears, flatten a white fondant and get a flower cutter and press. This will create a mark that you can follow to cut for the ears. Then you can follow the line and cut manually so that you will have two ears. Clean the edges using a bigger cutter. Use a small rolling pin to make the ears flatter and um, larger. You can use a ruler to check if your ears are perfect for your cake. Then put them on top of each other so you can make sure that they are about the same size. We'll have to make another one but this time we will do it in pink color and smaller. This will go on top of the white fondant. Put a little bit of corn flour on the fondant to avoid it from sticking to your hand. Now take a smaller flower cutter to help you and guide you where you will cut. You will repeat what you did on the white fondant. Put a little bit of edible glue on top of the white so that um, when you put the pink fondant, it will not be moving. And the same thing on the other ear.
Press your fingers together so that you can have a pointy ear. Cut a little bit of fondant on the bottom so that you will have a flat surface. Then put the other one on the top so that you will have the same length. Bend the wire a little bit before putting it inside the ear. You have to do this slowly otherwise it might come out from the sides. Then do the same thing for the other ear. Bend the ear from the sides to make it a little more beautiful. Then set aside. Please watch my other video if you want to learn how to make sharp edges. With the cake that we previously have, I'm just going to scrape the buttercream on the bottom and replace it with the pink buttercream. Slowly merge the buttercream together so that we can have an ombre look. Use a scraper to scrape the excess buttercream so the colors will merge together. I think our color separation is a bit sharp so we just have to do it again. Try to add a bit of white buttercream so that the merging will be seamless. Then just scrape it again. You can repeat the process until you're satisfied with the result. If you want to learn how to make this step by step, please watch my other video on how to make a perfect ombre buttercream cake. Now I think this looks very good to me. We'll start with putting all the details that we did earlier. I see some other people put their horns upwards but I think it should be slanting. And then put the ears on both sides. You can check if they are properly aligned by looking it on the sides. Don't worry too much about the holes that you're going to make if you're going to adjust it because we can just um, cover it up with buttercream later on. For the hair of the unicorn, we're going to use the following piping technique. A small star design that we will be using to fill the holes. The same star design but with the bigger hole. A rosette piping that will be the primary design of our hair. We can mix and match all of the colors and the design that we have used. Now let's go ahead and start our unicorn cake. Personally, I like to start with the front and center so that I can just work my way around it. If you're not confident with your piping skills, you can always try first on a baking sheet. This way, you will not be damaging your cake. On this particular unicorn cake, uh, my hair will be going sideways, so I'm just going to put big, the big ones first. Try not to put the same colors together. Place them as random as possible. 
You can always mix and match the colors and the design as you prefer. Always put at least one bright color to brighten up your cake. Sometimes you have to step back a little bit to check if your hair is flowing perfectly. Like on this one, I think there's something weird so I'm just going to add few more buttercream pipings. Yeah, I think this one looks better. Afterwards, you can stand up so that you can see from the top if there are still some holes. Then you can just fill them with your excess buttercream. Isn't this look so beautiful? Let's put on some finishing touches. I love to paint my horn gold because it adds a luxury feel to it. Make sure to cover the whole thing with edible gold. You can do this slowly so that you won't be damaging the other parts of the cake. Now let's put on some eyes to our unicorn. For the eyes, I just rolled some small piece of uh, black fondant and make the ends pointy. Use a fondant tool to help you press and put the eyes properly so that you won't be damaging the cake. Then, do the same thing for the other eye. Make sure that your eyes are on the same height. The eyes is okay as it is, but I would just like to add some more feature. We're just going to put one eyelash on each eye. After that, we can now put the birthday message if you have or you can just leave this out. I chose a simple font because there's a lot of things going on with our cake already. Put the letters in place first before putting edible glue so that you won't have to have a problem with adjusting it later on. To make it a little bit more beautiful, I'm just going to add some sprinkles. Make this as random as possible.
I always put ribbon on the cake board because this adds to the overall look. Choose a color that will complement your cake. Make sure to start on the back because we're going to put a pin later on. And this is our unicorn cake. I hope you like our tutorial for today. And please like and subscribe to our channel if you find our tutorial helpful.